Oh man, wow, what a joy. Wednesday night, inside a laundry basket. <laughs> this is incredible, the festival of imagination. It feels like comedy meets Extinction Rebellion, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, still, I'm still quite excited just from having to do a death-defying handbrake turn just to find the entrance to where the fucking thing is. That's... <laughs> It six times, went down a dimly lit, pitch black, in fact. I thought, am I doing comedy or coming to bury a body? I don't <laughs> Probably my own mate, by the way, you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm gonna get started in a minute, just calm down. Um, this is lovely, I mean, I, I, you know, this is, this is a night, I, I don't know where we are. Uh, I think, do you know what I love round here? Because it's like, round here as well, uh, drink driving. You all right, aren't you? <laughs> what, you going to wait? A badger. No, no. <laughs> Roger, that badger was wearing a cagoule. Just keep driving. <laughs> Some kid on his Duke of Edinburgh took the wrong bearing. But... <laughs> How polite is this? This is nice. Do you know what else I love? There's an actual security guard over there <laughs> stood by his van, ready. <laughs> so what? He's <laughs> just stood there, huh? Imagine that, his mates have probably done Glastonbury. <laughs> probably ring him going, what was it like? It was a chaos, mate, and drug dealers. Thousands of people trying to jump the fence. Where have you been? I was at the Festival of Imagination. <laughs> I had to separate a fight between a fox and an otter. <laughs> it's his actual job that he's getting paid for, mate. <laughs> How you doing, mate? You all right? You remind me of my dad. You don't look like him, it's just he's bitterly disappointed in me as well. I'm just getting started. I'm just doing what's in front of me at the moment, mate. I've got to break to get onto the stuff I've written. <laughs> oh, man. It's wonderful. Wonderful to be here. I, I, is, is this the first time this has happened? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. wow. Incredible. <laughs> Are you all meant to be here? <laughs> This is what would happen if you had another flood. Because <laughs> I know you have a bit of flooding round here, don't you? This is where I, because this is a very, I mean, this is a middle class section right here. This, this lady here, she's come down here thinking, I thought this was going to be a bit nicer than this. <laughs> We've had no picnic, this is ridiculous. I've had to keep my jumper on. We've got no Wi Fi. I'm, I'm terribly troubled by it. Because this is where, if you, are you all together, you, this section here? No, you're not together. This is very middle class, I'm not. I've been feeling that from that. That is definitely the section that's mortgage free. I, am, I can feel that. Do you know what I mean? Because like, this is where, if there was a natural disaster, I think down here is where you'd all have to run down that lane. You just see people in Ironbridge coming, the water's coming! Just bring the essentials, Peter. Leave the children, help me drag the arger. I'll be them too, coming down the gravel. Lose that again, not that last year. <laughs> Don't use the best pottery to bail out, Peter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've stereotyped you terribly. What's your name? The, of course, you're middle class. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? Darren Brown shit, that, mate. You've been genuinely lovely. Um, I do have um, a clipboard over there, which has got uh, to get your email addresses for a mailing list that I'm doing. I'm trying to build up an audience so I can eventually do a gig in a year all on my own! Yeah! And I'm going to hire that man on security to keep back the crowd! Imagine him! Stay back, Lula. <laughs> you pop it on as well, Vivian, because I know someone who works at Ocado. And uh, we'll pop, a, pop an extra chickpea salad in this week for you, so. She'll look at me, she's not for a tablet, actually. <laughs> Nothing too acidic. Uh, but you've been generally wonderful. <laughs> you've saved that laugh for the end, haven't you? Say so again, she went, did you do that? Vivian, how dare you? I'm strangely aroused. <laughs> You're gonna regret that one, baby. When I come round with 
this man, now he's retired, I've taken his gardening business. And I'm going to come round and plough your privets next week. <laughs> Mowing our lawn. 